Hello and welcome to Super Rich Daily. In this video, we'll be looking at the top three billionaires in Japan and why billionaires choose to live there. Let's get started. Number three, Takemitsu Takizaki. Takizaki is a Japanese businessman who serves as the honorary chairman and owner of Kiens, a company that manufactures automation sensors, vision systems, barcode scanners, laser markers, measurement instruments, and digital microscopes. Since Takizaki founded the company in 1974, Kiens has developed and amassed an enormous collection of technical patents as a result of its significant investments in research and development. Kiens Corporation has grown into an international corporation with a network of 16 overseas subsidiaries and around 3,000 employees spread throughout the world. According to Forbes, as of May 2021, Takizaki has a net worth of 28.5 billion US dollars. His company is well known for paying some of the highest salaries in the country. Takizaki has influence over the stock both personally and through his son, Takeshi Takizaki, as well as the TTKK holding company which he founded. Kian's devices are also used by Toyota and Toshiba, and the company produced $3.2 billion in revenue in 2016. In 2015, Takemitsu resigned from his position as chairman of the corporation. He currently resides in Osaka, Japan, with his wife and his only child, Takeshi Takizaki. Number 2. Masayoshi Son Son is a Japanese technology entrepreneur, investor, and philanthropist worth billions of dollars. He is the founder and CEO of SoftBank Holdings in Japan, as well as the CEO of SoftBank Mobile and chairman of Arm Holdings in the United Kingdom. Sun's net worth is 35.8 billion US dollars according to Bloomberg, making him Japan's second richest man. He owns around 45 million dollars in Tokyo real estate. He also paid 326 million dollars in 2013 for the iconic Tiffany building in Tokyo's Ginza Luxury Commercial District. He owns 117.5 million dollar Silicon Valley mansion with a 9,000 square foot main home, an 1117 square foot pool house, a separate library, a swimming pool, a tennis court, and traditional gardens. Son is married with two children, but he prefers to keep his personal life to himself. Taizo Son, Masayoshi's younger brother, is also a billionaire. Number 1. Tadashi Yanai Yanai is Japan's wealthiest man. According to Bloomberg, the 71 year old Japanese tycoon is worth $42 billion. His wealth stems from his role as chairman, CEO, and major shareholder of First Retailing, Asia's largest clothing retailer and Uniqlo's parent company. Yunai was a significant member of the board of directors of the Japanese holding firm SoftBank for 18 years, in addition to his achievements in the fashion sector. The Japanese billionaire, who is married and has two children, resides in a 16,586 square foot home in the Tokyo suburbs. In 2017, the property's value was believed to be around $50 million, with a guardhouse, a driving range, and even a separate thatch roof tea house. Yanai paid $78 million for the land in an auction in 2001. The billionaire is said to be a golf enthusiast. Every summer, he spends three weeks playing golf in Hawaii, where he owns two golf courses for a total of $74.1 million. Let's see why these billionaires live in Japan. The growing disparity in wealth between the wealthiest and the rest of society is one of the most pressing socioeconomic challenges facing the developed world today. Due to the widening disparity in wealth and opportunity, Americans have developed a siege mentality living in gated enclaves or high-rise urban condominium towers to keep out the rest of society. The Japanese aristocracy appears to be distinct from that of the rest of the world. It's commonly claimed that you could be living next door to a millionaire and not even realize it because his house looks identical to yours. The notion that wealthy Japanese people don't flaunt their wealth stems from the Japanese image of not wishing to stand out in a crowd. Billionaires in Japan don't build mansions, we're talking actual houses and not condominiums, and consider throwing one's money around recklessly unpleasant. Instead, the Japanese wealthy will spend money on things they enjoy, with the preference for the intangible. They're more inclined to support the arts and attend concerts than they are to spend money on sports cars or high-end jewelry. They travel frequently and enjoy cruises. Another feature of the new rich is that they are aware of their riches, whereas formerly wealthy Japanese people did not think about their fortune. They were oblivious to it. This is due to the fact that the new rich typically acquired their fortune via their own labor or through a unique skill or invention. Even those who inherit riches or are in line to receive wealth are more likely to find employment and work for the rest of their lives. In Japan, the concept of rich elite does not exist. In truth, what rich people's children inherit and what keeps them affluent are the resources for producing money. The greatest education money can buy and a fundamental grasp of how money works, both of which the typical person may not have easy access to. And that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if so, then give it a thumbs up and ring the notification bell button for our latest Super Rich Daily Update.